Cotton, what are we here to do? We're here to watch some fights. That's right. Appreciate you tuning in. Let's get right to the first fight of the night. First, out of the red corner, standing 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 169 and a half pounds, with a professional record of 5, 7, and 0. Oh. Doing it for the University of Grappling. Let's hear it for Trevor That's Cook. Huh. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We have Trevor Cook walking out right now. He is 31 years old, stands six feet tall, weighing 175 pounds, with an AMI record of 0 and 0, but a pro record of four and six. And that's the one that matters because this is our first professional fight of the night. He came in the scene straight into the professional circuit. He is training out of the University of Grappling yes, with Coach yep. Mark Brewer, yes, also yes. known as U of G. Uh, Mark Brewer is a high level grappling coach yes. and you know grappling practitioner as well but he turns out some of the best grapplers in the state um, yeah. you know and, and champions yes yes um you know mark is actually right now competing himself um, he's competing in the adcc's um the qualifiers in the for the west coast oh really so that is where he actually was today competing himself you know they run a gym where you know they're very proud to say that they're they're a professor or their instructor rolls with them every single day, gets yes. involved with them every single day. So I know Trevor's in good hands when he's over there. Yeah, and his fighting style, he calls it freestyle. His day job is he's a service advisor. What about wife or kids? Well, he does have three kids, and he is uh, dedicating this fight to them. And, you know, he says, what does it mean to fight for Steel Fist? It means the world to fight for Steel Fist. Well, and, you know, Trevor's a really good guy. Like you said, he had no Amy fights, jumped right into the professional realm. So he's actually done pretty good given that. Oh, yeah, not a bad record at four and six. I mean, that's early on, and I'd like to see how this fight goes. So let's see what his opponent All right, like. and his opponent tonight fighting out of the black corner, <laughs> standing <laughs> six feet tall, weighing in 169 uh, and a I half just said. pounds with a professional record of four, three, and oh. Doing it for four, seven training center. Let's hear it for Josh. Bateman. All right, ladies and gentlemen, coming out to the cage is Josh Bateman. This guy should probably go down in history as one of the greatest <laughs> entrances of all time. And uh, his last fight was very similar to this, dancing his way out, entertaining as it gets. Um, <laughs> and here comes the shimmy, shimmy, shake right now, getting everything off. This man is 36 years old, standing six foot even, weighing in at 170 pounds, <laughs> training out of 4'7 jujitsu. What do we know about this guy? Oh, this guy, if you can't tell just by watching the walk right now, he is a complete character. You know, he is 4-3-0. I mean, that is his, his record at this point in time. We know that his day job, he's a caregiver, does not surprise me one bit. If no. you've ever talked to the guy. Oh, yeah. No, so, this guy, so kind. Yes, very very kind, very humble. Soft-spoken. And, and, but confident at the same yes, time. Yes, yeah. Well, look at him. <laughs> you got to be confident to come out here like that. I mean, he puts on a show. Uh, we did say that he trains out at 4-7. Who's the coach out there? Oh, Jason Mertlich, Rad Martinez, Brian Thomas. You know, they got a bunch of guys over there. But the thing that I really like is he's actually dedicating his fight to Michelle Daly. Um, he says, Michelle, you inspire me. I believe Michelle is his teammate. That's outstanding. Yeah, who, who's got into the, to the game a lot recently and has put forth a lot of effort down there at 4-7. So it's great seeing these teammates kind of come together and support each other and dedicate fights to each other. Well, and just throwing it out there that, you know, she inspires them, that's outstanding. What does he say it means to fight for Steel Fist? It's an honor. <laughs> All right, it's an honor. His message for his opponent is, I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. If you're looking for a reason, I can tell you, I don't have money. <laughs> but what I do have are a very particular set of skills. Skills I have acquired over a very long career. 
skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. <laughs> I don't I don't know where he comes up with this stuff. <laughs> I, 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 I feel like, you know, that that, that could have been in a movie that was I, so I, good right there. Look, uh, this guy <laughs> marches to the beat of his own drum. Uh, all right, so we're about to see a fight with a showman and, oh, with a backflip before the fight. <laughs> yeah, backflip before the fight. That, you do that afterwards. All right, so <laughs> if you're just tuning in, we have Ethan Andrews is our referee tonight. Trevor Cook fighting out of the red corner wearing the black Hayabusa trunks. And Josh Bateman fighting out of the black corner with the unicorn trunks. Of I love it. Of course he has unicorn <laughs> trunks. I love it. Of course uh, he has you. He's a unicorn. You know, I he, he himself <laughs> is a unique <laughs> being. He is a mythological creature yeah. that you rarely find in reality, man. Uh, I... Look Josh Bateman is, I have only seen him fight once, and it was actually at, at the last show, or uh -huh. the show before the last show, uh -huh. I can't remember which one, and he put on such a great performance on short notice. He is actually right now one of my favorite fighters, and uh, I'm excited to see what he does here with Trevor Cook. Well, you know what, I mean, this must throw some head games for whoever his <laughs> opponents are. You don't know what to think. No, the guy comes out so freewheeling, listening to some nice music, you know, <laughs> kind of yeah, dancing, crazy yes. hair, kind of got this little almost hippie wild vibe thing going on. But you know what we saw in his last fight though is that he throws some leather and doesn't care about getting hit in the face. Yeah, I mean, I mean, the guy's ready to fight. Yeah, and I'm excited to see this. So we're about to see some action happen and nice exchange starts off with Josh Bateman throwing a head kick. Well, and, and which is nice because we're in the pro. Little unorthodox style. <laughs> a I little mean, bit, but you know, at the same time, he did a nice job jabbing in and then switching it to a hook with the same hand yeah. off the jab. I, I honestly don't have much critique. I'm, I'm thinking if, if I was sitting in Trevor's position, what would I think of this guy? Uh, didn't expect that. No, exactly. Yes. I mean, look at all his knees. Yeah, no, I, Josh Bateman is doing a great job here, throwing those knees to the body, softening up, and just establishing control and constant work yeah, yeah i mean he is staying busy he's staying in in control Trevor's face trevor can't do anything right now no and, and at this point trevor's more worried about the knee than about doing anything to get out of the position exactly he just turned and gave him the other hip so they'd stop kneeing him uh-huh he didn't like the ones on the inside turns and gives him the other side and you yeah. saw him try and sneak out right there um, but Josh Bateman doing a good job oh. staying in control. Gets oh, the takedown. Oh, good. Well, Trevor rolls all the way through. Trevor did roll all the way through, but you saw real quick, Bateman went to wrap up the legs, and he's still trying to reestablish a position. I wouldn't be surprised if you see Bateman try and take the back. Yeah, I think he's trying to come out the back door, and, and he there just you go. did. And he just did. He's got one hook in. The other hook is not in at this time. But I don't think he's going to go for it. He's no. got the shoulder lock in. You're going to see him try and step around and either walk up the side of the body to, st to finish that choke here in just a second, or he could even stay there in that position if he can sink that shoulder in deeper. Well, and I'm trying to get a look at our cameras to see where it's at. Oh, yeah, Trevor's about out. Trevor's, Trevor's out. Trevor's out. Trevor's out. Ladies and gentlemen, Trevor Cook choked unconscious by Josh Bateman. Oh, that, this, that, that just put a smile on my face. That was, you know, Josh Bateman is amazing. Uh, you know, I and love this guy. I am happy that he got look the win. Look at him. Nobody is more happy about this fight than Josh Bateman is right now. Look, he's on his tippy toes. Yes. He is ecstatic. And, you know, got to give wow. it to Trevor Cook. You know, he fought all the way oh. through until he went unconscious. And uh, he's back. He's awake now. He's being yeah. checked out by the, the referee, I'm the commission, and the doc are all in the cage right now making sure that he's all right. Well, I'm telling you, this guy brings something that people don't expect. <laughs> Josh Bateman is my new favorite character on the show of life. Let's take it to the cage for the official announcement. Your winner, one minute, 51 seconds into round number one. Submission due to arm triangle. Out of the black corner, Josh Bateman!
Addiction can take everything from you, but recovery can give you everything back. I developed my program around all of the things I wish I would have had when I got out of rehab. When you come in, we do an evaluation on your life and I talk to you about your work and I talk to you about your inner layings of the family, how it's affected your children and we set goals in every aspect of your life. One of my famous sayings is you come in, you drink my Kool-Aid and how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. We take that overwhelming feeling of all the disaster, we minimize and we take it one step at a time. We work in fitness, nutrition, life skills, training, and the application of all of that and how it all applies and the healthy lifestyle mixed in with communication brings the spirit back into everything that goes on in your life and the success rate we have has worked very well for a lot of families. Come in, do yourself a favor, set up a consultation. It's free, hope to see you soon. Hello, I just got a phone call that my husband's been arrested. When they're inside the jail, it feels like there's little to no hope where you're willing to do whatever it takes to help your loved one out. This is where we come in. And it is only a matter of time before we have them out and get them back to their lives. You can trust us. At Breaking Bad Bail Bonds, we will take care of you. Hey, if you're out there and you want tickets to up and coming events, Pat, where can they get them from? You can purchase tickets through any fighter on the card or visit us at stillfistfight.com. All right, boys, been over the rules in the locker room already. Just gonna go over the big ones again. Stay off the top, back of the head, neck, and spine, and keep your fingers out of the cage. Understand? Touch them up. Let's have a good fight. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you are just tuning in, we have Skyler, the Utah kid, Frazier, fighting out of the red corner with the black and yellow absolute trunks. And we have John, Hands of Neil Steele, the current featherweight champion, out of the black corner in the black trunks. And we're about to get this fight started. We are, ladies and gentlemen, they touch gloves and then they go at it. I mean, like, like normal competitors, you're kind of seeing them uh, work their way in, you know. You, you got to, at this level, you have to fill out your opponent. You don't just go in swinging for the most part. Yeah, for the most part. Yeah, for the most part. Some people do, and they win like crazy with it. But these guys, they understand how effective the other one is, so they have to establish their reach and their range. Yeah, well, and, and, and that's what you're doing. I mean, typically, like we kind of mentioned before, you know, Skyler's a rather good striker. He has a good striking side of things. You know, he also knows his, his grappling side of the equation. Now, John is not as a uh, technical striker, but I would definitely say John is a tough um, kid. Nice that, uh, snap down. A great snap. Skyler did a great job when John was coming in, just landing a string of punches and then sprawling out and getting that, sh that snap down. And uh, looked like he was trying to establish a good position, and John is really pretty tough and just kind of stood up there. Yeah, yeah, he just kind of got up. <laughs> it just but it, it's got still John on the defense. John's defending. John's defending. Yes. You know, John isn't able to strike at this point in time. I mean, we'd like to see some get in there a little bit more. John's trying to come over the head, um, I think a little bit more to break posture yes. um, than to actually get that guillotine. Yeah, and he's got a nice uh, gash in his eye. I don't know if it's over or under, but there's some uh, blood starting to form it doesn't look like it's dropping but there's blood around the eyeball of the right eye of john neal uh, i see i see um i can't really tell right now looks like it's under it's coming from yeah looks like it's just under the eye which um, you know either way you don't want to get cut too much on the eye because that can stop a fight if it gets too big but you're seeing amazing job by skylar frazier throwing those heavy hands and uh i don't know if john has an answer for it no uh, John, I think, is a little bit rocked right now. You yeah. know, John has his hands down. That's one bad thing that he does do is he kind of drops those hands. Well, it um, starts doing the uh, the head movement against the cage instead of keeping the hands up and blocking and throwing his own punches. But, again, it comes the, the toughest out. John is willing to give some to get some. Yes. Now, Skyler's looking great, though. This has been a great exchange, really opening up this first round. And Skyler has a ten-finger choke. And I don't know if it's still in, but he went with the 10 finger choke before he started turning. And it uh, looks like now he's just trying to continue rotating through on that position. And uh, John, what you're seeing right now is John's got his toes dug into the cage, into the fence of the cage. And that's actually against the rules, just as much as your fingers being laced into the cage. Well, and you saw actually 
you know, Dave did a great job, just kind of removed them, yes. you know, very easily, didn't them out of thing. Didn't change his position, just let go of the let go of those uh, toes being laced into the cage there. And well, Skyler doing a great job of being busy right now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he, he's on top. You know, he's doing a good job. He's, he's not really landing that many heavy shots. You can see John's trying to walk his way around the cage. You know, here you go. Now, now John's giving his back up. Um, you know, Skyler does have a pretty good ground game. John's rather good as well. He's got a two-on-one to try to keep that, that you know, arm from going around his throat. And you but saw real quick that you saw Skyler kind of gave up that hook and transitioned to that kind of knee over and the foot flat so he could turn in towards him to kind of keep him from uh, using that two-on-one stack that he had. Well, and, you know. If you can try and go for the, the shoulder lock that way as well, but I think it was more to control yes, than to I go agree. for the shoulder lock. I agree. You know, and as they're going through, I mean, these guys are, are putting on quite a good fight. You know, we do have our champions been kind of, you know, how should I say, on the ropes or against the cage for a little uh, bit. Yeah, kind of he's. Needing to defend. Yes. Um, so you're seeing, you know, the skill of Skyler come out. Um, and we've had a couple exchanges in which both guys just kind of just started throwing. Shall yes. I say. And I think that Skyler has had the, uh, the better end of the exchanges throughout this fight so far. I, I would agree as well. I mean, John has come with some heavy shots, but at this point in time, I think Skyler's kind of ended up on the better in many situations. John just popped out on top. Let's see what John can do from that position. Uh, but then again, we have to remember, Skyler is dangerous off his back. He's dangerous off his back, but at the same time, John is pretty effective, and there's enough blood right now going from the eye of John that I don't think that John or that Skyler's going to be really able to lock anything up as quickly as he would if uh, there wasn't the, uh, the slippery blood going on. Well, and one thing to note also is the idea oh. that with John being on top, or when he was. Are you watching this exchange right now? Holy I, I am crap. watching the whole thing. I, this is what you want to see in a championship fight. This is our main event, and it is worth every second of it. Oh, it is. And they both come with kicks at the same time. <laughs> There's blood coming down from the nose of Skylar Frazier. There's blood coming down from the eye of Jordan Chandler. And we're going to see a round number two. We are, we are. And, and, you know, I'm looking over there at the champion. Look at John. Look at him sitting there taking some breaths, trying to kind of get his breath underneath him, uh, trying to see where the fatigue level sitting in for both of these guys. There's a chant going on, Utah kid. And uh, I'm going to just use my unofficial, not really a judge capacity to say, I think that Skyler won that round. Uh, you know what? I think Skyler won that round as well. You know, I, I think you started to see – what this fight may turn out to be is that what I yes. really thought we started to get a glimpse yes. of? Yes. Um, because I definitely don't think it's, it's over, but I think as we lead into these later rounds, it's going to be very interesting to see what, what how should I say, damage is done. Uh, yeah. um, and, and not just necessarily <laughs> through the punches, but also just through those exchanges of, of I, energy. I'm excited to see if they can continue the kind of exchanges that we just saw in the end of that round. And Skyler really strung a lot together in that round, and I don't think that John really thought that that was going to happen, uh, especially with how his last few fights have been. I'm really excited to see if that pace continues into the second, third, fourth, and fifth round, or if we're going to see something end, you know, in the in the first three. Yeah, and I think it's going to be very telling in the next little bit as to what's actually going to go on and how this is actually going to affect our champion. Yeah, and you see, John is circling away and back. Um, I don't. I don't really think that's out of fear. I think that that's um, you know just a. John practice. likes to create. Yeah, yeah, creating space and doing something that he generally does, and uh, I think Skyler's doing a really good job of not letting him establish too much distance. Too much distance and not over committing or coming in too fast when yes. he sees that gap. We're trying to close it. Ooh, John landed a nice left hand. I think Skyler might be hurt. Was shooting for that shot. And he shot wide. Yes. So I mean, to me, he was hurt. And John's dropping in on this single. It, it is arm in, it looks like. Yeah, he's got the arm in guillotine. I think that we're going to be okay here if, uh, if we're in Skyler's corner. Mostly because I really want this fight to continue. <laughs> well, I do as well, so you know what? Let's see how it goes. Yeah, I think Skyler's fine. He's going to sit up. And now we're in a position where Skyler can start doing some damage yes, yes. from the top here as long as he can avoid getting caught in a sneaky submission well, by and, John Neal. And that's the risk that, that you go to when you go ahead and you pull for that, that guillotine. When you go jump guard, pull that guillotine, if you do not finish it, you're on the bottom. Yes. And now you've got John going for that deep single and just stands up and 
Skyler's able to keep him from tossing him like he did in the first round. Yeah, he is. I mean, Skyler's doing a really good job with his grappling. You know, if I was in John's corner right now, I'd be telling him to get to his feet. And looks like he did get to his feet. But let's see how effective he's going to be here. He looked like he did land a good left that really rocked Skyler. I, I agree. But let's see if it really did. Well, and I'm wondering if it's going to affect Skyler's striking in the future. You know, when you land a hard shot on someone, they're not as, as free to throw shots. No. And they're they, a, a little bit more, more timid. Cautious. Yeah, yes. cautious. That's good. I was thinking timid. But, yeah, you know, uh, I think cautious is a much better word for it. T timid works too. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's a, a well, mixture. Of cautious means you're smart. Yeah. You're, you're doing it because you're smart about it. Timid just means you're scared. <laughs> true, true. Oh, nice! That was a great job of Skyler sneaking under that uh, spinning that was back a kick. Great job, and he still got that single that I'm seeing right now. Ooh, nice exchange. Uh, I, I think that was very smart of Skyler to let go of the leg there. I mean, you can get a leg dip or a leg tip. Just keep lifting straight up yes, in the air yes, and yes. kick out the other one, but. It's a lot of work when you can just throw a couple big punches like that. It is. It's a lot of work, and you also can be susceptible to being punched yourself. Yes. I mean, you're lifting the leg, but at the same time, they yep. still have arms free. <laughs> exactly. And I, I've seen head kicks come off of that, too. But it looks like John was going for the ten-finger choke again. And That's now he's going for the like. – John's going for the rape choke um, <laughs> just now, it, which is actually legal. You can do that. It's just – not very technical and it's a little frown it, frowned upon maybe yeah yeah time. well and and if you're watching at home you're like what the heck does he mean rape choke i mean when you grab someone by the neck with your both your hands and wrap them around the front of the throat you're, like you see in movies yeah you're typical with someone choke someone with two hands yeah the two hand choke that you see in a movie that doesn't really happen very often in real life um at least not in the uh, the mma or martial arts community you no, don't see no. that kind of thing because it's just too easy to defend against. But you're this right here, this is, this is what John wants. This is kind of some of John's game. On top. Yes. Landing shots, controlling the guy's position. But they're they're very they're 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 not as intense or uh, consecutive as they usually are when he gets in that kind of a position. And I think that speaks volumes as to the ability of Skylar Frazier to really neutralize it. Agreed, a hundred percent. And, and Skyler's still going. I mean, John finishes people a lot. Yeah, he does. He does finish people a lot. See it, is a finish by this point in time. You do see Skyler does have that left leg of John's. Looks like John just sat down on it and trapped that right arm of Skyler's. Yeah, that it's a lot easier to do that when you got gloves on. You know what I mean? Yes. yes. But he also just postured up, so now he doesn't. He looks like he's just trying to drive pressure into the chest, and. Uh, Maybe try to come out through through the center. I'm actually really surprised that Skyler's keeping a closed guard when he does that because John, when he was tripod there, had his feet just like right there. His feet are yeah. really close together. And I, if I was in his corner, I'd be telling Skyler to sweep. Yeah. Well, I think what happens is John's trying to kind of slide those hips through that hole. Right. He, and, and that makes sense. But at the same time, you leave yourself way too open for a sweep. And there's the triangle. Oh, nice. John Neal gets his head out. I, 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 <laughs> this is a great battle. Yes, it is. And right now, this is where Skyler's in trouble, like you were talking about before with yes. being on top. Because now he's actually starting to eat some damage. And we're going to see a round number three. You know, all the experience. John's excited John's about this. John's excited, and Skyler's breathing out of his mouth. Yeah. And that's uh, what we see. And that's that's dangerous because that means your mouth is open, and if you get punched in the <laughs> in the jaw enough, with a broken nose, it's a little bit hard to you, you, breathe you, in through that. You got to pick your, <laughs> you know. So <laughs> which one's worse, a possible broken jaw or just you know, not being able to breathe anymore? And wow, Jordan, it, oh my God, Skyler Frazier is landing oh, so much on body John Neal. Body shot, body shot, body uh -huh. shot. And, and you see John looking <laughs> at the referee to tell him, I'm okay, he I'm the, okay. He gave the thumbs up. In I, the middle I, of striking exchanges. I, I'd love to see Skyler start going back to the head, maybe up through the middle instead of what he was doing with the body, but that was a great flurry of punches by Skyler uh, Frazier. Great tactically. I'm concerned about being worn out. Yeah, that takes a lot of energy, especially if uh, we are right and his nose is broken. And he goes right into the... He goes right there now. He does have, does he have a, a, a full guard? I cannot. No, he's no, he's, he he's a got he's got a he's got a butterfly, and he now he's got full guard. guard right now. And he's got he's got an. It looks like John has uh, his hand in there, stacking at least a little bit with his right hand, creating space 
But now Skyler's on top. He's got Mount. Let's see if he can finish it from here. That I am so impressed with that turnaround from the way that first that second round went. I, you and, know, I, to be very frank, I find myself, and, and maybe this is me and my job, <laughs> right. trying to analyze why, what provoked such. You know, was it John smiling at him? That pissed him off? Was enough? it the fact that he knows he's not breathing very well and I need to come out and finish this quickly? It could be. It could be. And it very well just could be that he had him against the cage and wasn't able to land punches yeah. to the face, but he didn't want to give up the punches, so kept him going to the body. And it looks like John might end up on top here. John did a good job getting that foot out. Looks like he might get back in this mounted position he where he might. ended that, that second round. He might, but at the same time, you might see a sweep coming from uh, Skyler. Just the way I that those legs were set up, it wouldn't the, surprise me. But These instead. guys are going back and forth, back and forth. I think John wanted him out. Skyler was setting up the sweep. Is we ended up inside control. Yes. And John keeps going back in with that knee, trying to get that mount. And you're seeing Skyler catch it right as it's about, I don't know, maybe two-thirds of the way through. Yeah, he almost and he's, there. And he's not able to really fully get the mount. And uh, you're going to see a heel hook attempt from Skyler here real soon. Eh, well, maybe not. You were going to. And then he didn't. <laughs> and now you've got a shoulder, got choke. shoulder choke. That is in deep. And Skyler is tapping out. This fight's over. John Neal, surprise comeback in that third round. It could have wow. gone either way. And he sinks in that deep shoulder choke. And this fight is over. That is. Undefeated. John Hands of Steel Neal. Defends ten, it again. 10 and 0 oh and retains the title. Defends it again. All right, let's, take it, let's take it to the cage and make it official. One more time, let's make some noise for both these gentlemen. Your winner, two minutes and 40 seconds into round number three. Tap out due to shoulder choke out of the black corner. John, the hands of a steel, Neil. Hey, we want to thank you. Pat wants to thank you. I want to thank you. That's right. We want to thank you for tuning in each and every week to Still Fist Fight Night, supporting Utah local MMA. Until next week. Same time, same place. I thought it was the whole stay buckled up thing. Oh, yeah. Buckle up, Utah. <laughs>